searching for that dream today are the Krangs, a family from West Sussex. Hello. Morning. How are you doing? Now, you have been in touch with Sharon, I believe, yeah. i.e. that's my mum. So, mother. Hello. <laughs> We've been, I've been waiting to meet you. <laughs> are you all right, look? <laughs> Jane, Ian and their two kids, James and Katie, are in Almeria to decide whether or not they'll be uprooting their lives and moving to sunny Spain. It's a big decision and it has to be the right decision. The kids have got to be totally 100% in agreement with us, otherwise we won't yeah. be making this move. Yeah, most important kids, really. Because they're our lives. So what's the dream home that will make the Krangs decide to stay forever? A three-bedroom villa with a pool and maybe a bit of land around it. That would be our dream. With a bit of Spanish flavour, perhaps? Quite like modern. I also like something a bit more old-fashioned. I don't particularly like square rooms. Speaking of geometry, their education is paramount to us, really. So we've got to look into the schools over yeah, here. Get it right. And who gets the final say? Oh, definitely Jane. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> be quite persuasive when I want to be. Sharon and Sean aren't too shabby at persuasion either, and they've got a lot in common with the Krangs. You're doing exactly what I did with my family. We've sat where you've sat now. Mm -hmm. We didn't obviously have such good luck in estate agents when we came over, <laughs> did we? Best move we ever made. The Krangs have a budget of 140,000 euros. So Sharon and Sean have lined up three properties they hope will wow them. Here we are. Okay. Property number one is a townhouse near the Cabrera mountain range. It's only 20 minutes away from the beach, but there's also a communal pool in the gated community. The fully fitted kitchen is open to the spacious lounge. Out back, there's a private terrace. On the first floor, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And as a bonus, there's a private rooftop solarium. All that comes at a price of 119,950 euros, which is tidily below their budget of 140,000 euros. If you want to follow Mother, she'll take you down. On arrival, Sharon takes the Krang straight to the cool blue water in the pool. Swimming pool area. Lovely. What do you think? Oh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah? Beautiful. Is this important to you? Is a swimming pool important to you? Yeah. It's a nice yeah. size as well. Yeah? Yeah. I've even got a duck in the pool as well. A duck? <laughs> What's a duck? A little duck. A little duck. Duck. Little duck. Duck. <laughs> In the meantime, Sean's doing a little prep work to make sure this first property will make an instant first impression. One little trick that my mum has taught me for many years is it's all about scents and smells. Just because once they walk in, if they smell as nice, <laughs> then that is always a really good selling point. We're gonna run around and spray every room and get it all done. And just in time, because here comes Sharon with the crowns. Yes? May we come in? Mm, I suppose so. <laughs> come on through. Do you want to carry on through into the kitchen? First impressions, what's your thoughts? Very nice. Nice That's and cool. Too. It's quite a modern property, yeah. but with a lot of rustic features yeah. and, and Spanish features. It also has a spacious living room. It's a nice space. I noticed a lot of these properties have got like fly screens. So do they really suffer with the mosquitoes up here? It's more flies. Oh. Anybody that tells you that there, there isn't flies in Spain are telling you Tempest. lies because there is. But that's normally only from May until October. Oh, OK. Yeah. So. And I haven't seen any cockroaches since I've been here. We don't do cockroaches in Mahaka. <laughs> oh. It's very that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm getting them all under the sofa. You've got the <laughs> yeah, under the rug. Yeah. He's joking, hopefully. Outside, there's a private back terrace. So, the house that keeps giving, so to speak. Mm -hmm. This pathway at the back is right. an access to the swimming pool. Oh, OK, that goes straight there, does it? It does, because they, the owners here wanted an area where, if you want to sort of go down in your costume already, you don't have to be walking down the street to get to the pool. Okay. Which is what I would definitely do. Mm. I mean, my song, you know, <laughs> is not one to be seen in the middle of the street, I can tell you that. Upstairs, there's a family bathroom and three bedrooms, including the master. What's really nice about this room is there's your view. You're looking yeah. straight out of the Cabrera Mountains. And the last thing to visit is the private rooftop terrace. 
Of you is important to you. Well, it helps, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, waking up to that every yeah, morning. Yeah, it's You know, it's yeah. lovely. Jane and Ian seem taken with the property, but what about James and Katie? I remember when we were looking around for properties and I was their exact age, I kind of kept really quiet and now looking back I wish I hadn't. The complex itself is obviously very modern. They're going to make as much of a decision as their parents are, so I'm totally on uh, James and Katie's side with this one. <laughs> While the kids are keeping their cards close to their chests, Sharon's sure she's impressed Mum and Dad. I'm really chuffed with the uh, first reaction. I think really, really chuffed? Do. Chuffed. Really chuffed, are yeah. you? But Sharon might be jumping the gun. To be honest, I didn't get the wow factor. I really like it. Um, but no, I don't think it's got that wow factor yet. Today, Linda's meeting a buyer in search of his own slice of that milk and honey. Yeah, I feel like I know you already. Yeah, you almost, almost. This is Damien. Nice to meet you, Damien. I've got mixed yeah. up Damon and Damien. <laughs> Take a seat, my darling. Damien Cullinan lives in Belfast, but has decided he wants to spend more of his time living in the sun. It's just too wet. There's no summers. I'm spending 90% of my time indoors, whereas there's far more opportunities here. There's more out outdoor life. With four adult children having flown the coop, Damien is now free to pursue his dreams. They're all grown up now, so they don't really need me around so much. But Damien isn't new to house hunting in Spain. I must have looked at about 100 properties. And now I'm just getting tired, I just want to do it. I've always had a sort of a dream of moving out here. I've now the opportunity to sort of make it a reality. Ultimately, what I want is two bedrooms within 15 minutes walk to the sea, a rooftop terrace, a shared swimming pool. After that, it's really just the feel of the, the property and you know, when I see it. And all that for 130,000 euros. It's going to be a tough task for Linda. The price is on. Don't be nervous, I'm not a bad driver. Oh, really. I'm insured. <laughs> Linda's already trying to woo him with their shared Irish roots. My maiden name was Fitz Henry. Yeah. Apparently, I'm from uh, the royalty. Yeah. You don't know <laughs> whereabouts in Ireland? Why do they make the crystal? Oh, uh, Waterford. Down Waterford, that area, yeah. around that area. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, there's a castle waiting for me. Really? Somewhere. Excellent, so, yeah. <laughs> Property One is on a development in the seaside town of La Zenia. It has a spacious lounge, open plan kitchen diner, two double bedrooms, one of which has its own private terrace, a bathroom, plus a roof terrace. And all this is available for 115,000 euros, which is 15,000 below Damien's budget. Okay, so watch your stack hand, watch your beadies. So you've got your lounge, quite a nice sized lounge, and then you have the American kitchen. Yeah, I'd rather have a kitchen like that. Yeah. So it's nice because you can make your Irish stew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frying yourself up a stew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we have two single beds. It's a good sized room. It's yeah. pretty good. How old are the children? The youngest one's 21. Really? Gosh, That's you don't want to go 31? Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to tell me what face cream you use. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Linda's trying to butter him up a little. Master bedroom, my darling. Yeah. Before taking him out on the master bedroom's private terrace. There we go, my darling. Yeah. Where there's a view of the property's only downside, an undeveloped wasteland. They will build. Yeah. As a, as a concern. Yeah. As a concern. Oh, yeah. Not the ideal reaction. So would that put you off putting in an offer or...? It uh, would if it was going to be built on. If it was, going to, if it was a green space, it would be totally different, but okay. definitely not. If not, I'm going to be subjected to a building site for a couple of years. But Linda's not giving up and takes him to the private terrace above. So here we are, Damien. Got a satellite dish. <laughs> Bring down airplanes with that. <laughs> nice, I like, I like these sort of spaces. Safe, They're not overlooked. So what are Damien's overall impressions of property number one? Give it about seven out of ten. The big drawback is that wasteland in front of the house. If it was landscaped, it would be right up there as I mean, sort of nine out of ten. As it stands, I wouldn't be uh, putting an offer on it yet until I knew what was happening with that. Linda needs to do some digging to find out the plans for the adjacent wasteland. And she spotted a neighbour 
who may be able to clarify the situation. What they're going to build here, yeah. any idea? Up to now, we don't know what's going to happen. But we've got a meeting in two weeks' time, yeah. so we should find out. Right, OK. But he might not have to wait that long if he falls for one of the next two properties that Linda has to show him. Over in Almeria, it's not all about selling houses. Look at that. That is pretty clever. Sean and his colleague Tamara are creating a thoughtful gift for Sharon. I save that. We're planning a bit of a surprise for her. We've put her into the tattoo parlour. Lucas! Because she's been going on there for more than a year that she wants a tattoo for Lucas. Nanny gonna get you. Boo! Sharon's a doting granny to Alicia. And now to little Lucas. But he's the only member of her family not yet represented by a tattoo on her shoulder. She had the butterfly for Alicia, the stars for me and my sister, and she's running a bit behind on getting a tattoo done for Lucas, so she just needs that little bit of a push. Look at that, how funky hey. I don't know what she'll say. I think she might be a little bit annoyed with us. <laughs> she'll go like that and say, gift voucher for... I just love it. I love putting her in awkward situations. <laughs> I don't know what my mum's pain threshold is, but I know she's a drama queen. We've got a present for you. Oh, God, what is it? To the boss mother. It's your will. We've written it for you. <laughs> <laughs> love from the family. What are you doing now? You're not having a pay rise? No. Oh. <laughs> Give Fauci for Sharon Garner for a tattoo session. <laughs> Why have you done that? Because we're just sick of you going on about it and you just got to get it done and out of the way. But, although it's for Lucas, yeah. I've come up with some really nice ideas for you. Because yeah, you know I'm the tattoo addict. With her granddaughter represented by a butterfly, Sean wants something equally beautiful for Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd look lovely on your back. So I have a sleeve, a full yeah. sleeve, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and I am not having that so you can finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Oh, I'll flip your neck. So I just want to see you go for a pain. <laughs> Are you coming with me? Yeah. Right, so I need to send him a picture. Do you want it coming further up into your, onto your neck? No, I don't want it up onto my neck, no. Because tattoos shouldn't be seen at work. Absolutely not. Hello? I'm really excited, though. No? Yeah? Just don't expect anything at Christmas. Bit bit. <laughs> <laughs> OK. The gift's given Sharon ideas. You need to have Shazza put on your back. Like that? Yeah. Shazza. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm not working now. I'm going to start. Time to get back to work, Sharon. There's a second property to show the Krangs. family are considering a major move overseas, but Jane and Ian won't commit unless they find the perfect place for their two kids. So Sean is touting the benefits of school holidays in Spain. What you call a six weeks holiday, here it's three months. Yeah. And they won't let you go back to school until the temperature reaches a certain level. Did you hear that? Katie she's so living here. Oh, yes, Kate. We just sold it's it to you, Katie. It's three months off, sold it. Property number two is a townhouse in the grand-gated All-Andalus Resort Complex. The corner lot leaves space for two ground-level terraces, and inside, there's a lounge and diner. Kitchen. Bedroom and shower room. Upstairs, there are two more bedrooms, a family bathroom, and a large terrace with beautiful views. All this comes at a cost of 130,000 euros. Just below the Krang's budget, 140,000. We're a few minutes away from the beach. You see the sea? You can see the sea. I can see the sea. You can see the sea. There you go. Once again, Sharon is buying time outside. They've got swings. Do you go on swings at your age? Mm. No? Slides? No? Rocking horses? Yeah. No? OK. <laughs> It's not all fun and games inside. Once again, I've been left to just sweat like crazy and get the house open. Uh, I've got my trusty spray, and it's just a... and get the clients in. And here they come. So, a very similar type of property as the last one. So it is 
sort of your living kitchen downstairs. It's quite nice. That's nice. Yeah. It's obviously a bit more, a bit smaller. Yes. Through here you've yes. got the kitchen, which is obviously fully fitted. Is this large enough? Um, I'm sure you could get a little table in here if you really wanted to. It is slightly smaller than the last property. Yeah. Using her staging expertise, Sharon's keen to squash all talk about it being too small. The one thing about this particular room, I don't know whether you agree, when you first come in, it does actually feel a little bit enclosed. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's necessary. Furniture. Exactly. I don't think it's necessary to have a dining table and also a unit in this room. It is all down to furniture. I agree. Down the corridor is a shower room and a bedroom, all painted a cheerful yellow. They like their lemon, don't they? I do quite like the townhouse, um, got to be honest. Obviously, the rooms are all slightly smaller. You've got a family bathroom, your second guest bedroom. Uh, it's just whether you want to compromise on the space side of it, I'm not sure. I think we'd need to check out the area a bit more. So, nice big terraced area for you. Yeah, it's lovely views. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, brilliant views. You like the views? They are great. As I walked in, I didn't feel this is our home. It felt yeah. more like a holiday home. Yeah. Which is not what we're looking for, is it, really? No. I don't know. I'm just not getting the same vibe from them. Not from Jane and Ian. They only have one more property to show the Krangs, so the heat is on. I'm going to get one of them fans that's got a spray bottle Should on it. Should we get one of them hats that's got a thing that spray, keeps spraying spray it on? Actually, the, client, the, the clients would like that as well, wouldn't they? They're quite funny. Mm -hmm. In Alicante, Linda is helping Damien Cullinan find his dream property. He's been searching for years, but he's determined to finally stop his dithering. I'd say we must have looked at about 100 properties. Missed a few bargains. Um, there's still a couple, but they're, they're fewer and far between. The first property was ruled out for now by his concerns over the wasteland. And it's clear Damien's not going to part with his 130,000 euros unless it's spot on. Definitely not. I'm not even going to be subjected to a building site for a couple of years. So Linda's taking him on a short walk to a near identical property in a different part of the same development, further away from that wasteland. The entrance to this townhouse has a glazed patio area. On the ground floor, there's a spacious lounge and an open plan kitchen. Up to the first floor, there's two double bedrooms. The master bedroom has its own private terrace. There's a family sized bathroom. And there's also a private rooftop solarium. This townhouse is on the market for 129,000 euros, just under his maximum budget. So look at this nice community yeah. feeling. Yeah, very bright. But before they look at the house, Linda is keen to show off the shared facilities that this coastal development has to offer. You can hear all the birdies the twittering, birds, yeah. birds the in your blue sky. Yeah. Lemon trees. So you can invite me round for yeah, gin and tonic yeah, and say, would you like some lemon. lemon in there? Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks like a mint. So you can make me a mojito. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll yeah, do that, perfect. Though, and it seems as though Linda's pulling out all the stops after the setback on property one. Right, now this helps, Damien. We've got yeah. some connection. Yeah. And that connection is that this property actually belongs to the family of her son-in-law, Damon, who's married to daughter Sophie. There he is, look. Yeah. His ugly mug. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have the master bedroom. Ah, yeah. oh, look who's oh, on yeah, there. Oh, isn't he cute <laughs> on there, bless him. Oh, dear. Well, it looks as though Damon hasn't changed a bit. This will be Damon's room, pink with the teddy yeah. bears, eh? Pink to make a boy's room. When way. Sophie throws him out, he has to come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty much, as I said, it takes the same box as the other one. The, the size, the size is good. Yeah. You know, it's got storage. On to the solarium with its great views. Size is good. It's close to the sea. It's good within walking distance of everything as well. It's good. So, how many out of ten would you give this one? Uh, I'd say seven. A good seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. 
Despite Linda's best efforts, it scored the same as the first property. With Damien keeping his cards close to his chest, it's becoming clear to Linda why he's viewed over a hundred properties. So what's the three points that aren't taking you both? Three, um, that side again behind us. So you've got a bit more of a hard sell on that property, I noticed. Going the extra mile to sort of sell her in-laws' properties, offering mojitos and lemons and mint leaves from her garden. Didn't work. No sale. Well, we got a seven. The only thing you would like is a bit of a garden area. But despite the setback, Linda is staying positive. So let's see if we can click all the boxes and find him his dream home. But it's not all work for the Rodriguez family. Me and Damon thought that we'd put our heads together and come up with a little fun competitive game. A bit of team building. Yeah, a bit okay. of team building. And we've decided to bring everyone to the mini golf. Mini golf, the sport of kings. We've even got a prize what for the winner. Oh, we'll be taking this home. Oof, wow, eh? Hey. It's really so softened. But that's not the only old banger they'll be keeping an eye on. Charming. In the office, the old banger, my mum, she likes to jump onto your sales, doesn't she? she and does, she'll yeah, phone yeah, me and she'll yeah, say, yeah. oh, I've just sold this. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. James just phoned me five minutes ago and told me that he the sold credit, it. Taking the credit. So, so she does try to jump onto your tails, doesn't she? she does. the, I'm, I'm going to be watching tonight because she will be um, sabotaging a few, of the, a few of the pots, I think. So uh, I'll have to keep a close eye on her. Make the guys. best man win. Oh, okay. Okay. So now it's time to putt up or shut up. That was three, four. Oh, it wasn't. It was three. Mom, you're not going to play properly. Out. OK, so at the minute, Damon, you're winning with four. Me and my dad are drawing with five. Uh, my mum's next with six, and Sophie's losing with seven. Oh, seven. I've never done set. Six, two and three is five. Four, two and four is six. No, I only got three. No, you did four. four. I didn't do all. You did all cheap. Cheap, cheap. Charlie, there, there was contact then, Charlie. There was contact when the ball was moving. There was no contact, thank you very much. While everyone is distracted by Linda's shady sports tactics, Manuel is keeping his eye on the spicy prize. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh it's Tiger it? Rodriguez. consistent, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. One Tiger. Uh, Way. Well done. Oh, I just think you could have been a professional golfer, Manuel. Oh, no, just yeah. Realize. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 no, no, the penalties, penalties, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't think all. No, don't, don't, you, you can't, you can't hit a rolling ball in. That was instinct. Instinct, just play properly oh, by the rules. You got an extra three points oh, for no, penalty. Oh, no, that's not fair. You, you're, they're, they're... Not fair. We're the ones who play by the rules. If you can't play properly, <laughs> you get a penalty. I just take it easy getting a bit more. you just shut up? I, you know, I don't need a coach. But has Linda's cheating for Chorizo paid off? Oh! Yeah. Oh, three, well, well done. The winner is my dad. Well done, Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where, where's his prize? Uh, we put a lot of thoughts into it. Oh, yeah? Amazing. It's fabulous. You can have a, this with a bit of a uh, come on, a bit of red wine. Hey, hey. The sausage. Oh, what yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if Manuel wants to share, bangers go well with sour grapes. Got this. Robbed. Embarrassed. No, no sausage. sausage. <laughs> Back in Almeria, the Krangs have seen two townhouses so far, but neither of them have impressed the family enough to commit to the move. They like their lemon, don't they? On the way to the third property, Jane wants to make sure the reality fits the Spanish dream. What are the school hours? They are 20 past eight yeah. until half two. I used to walk him down to the bus and put him on with his little sandwich box. Oh. <laughs> that was when I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> Property number three is a country villa in Huercalo Vera with three bedrooms and three bathrooms. 
The conservatory gives views overlooking an olive plantation and a beautiful mountain range. And there's a private pool for cooling off on hot summer days. The villa is priced to sell at 135,000 euros, which is just under their budget of 140,000. So, a little Yay. bit different to the last properties. <laughs> Yeah. Like it? Yeah. Good first impression. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is what we were dreaming of. Katie's just told me she's got to buy this one. She said. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little wishful thinking on Sharon's part, but maybe the inside will make her wish come true. Love the high ceilings. Yes, it's yeah. the first thing mm. that you notice, isn't it, when you walk in? The kitchen is fully fitted with all the modern conveniences. There are two bedrooms on the ground floor, including the master bedroom. Oh, wow. Double wardrobes again, air conditioning. We can shut the door and shut the kids out. When they want to open doors, the conservatory converts into a terrace. What you really know is that. Yeah. So every day, you can use this and you're enjoying the view. You've got the original buildings yeah. as well. Yeah, your courtier. So you've Spanish. got your mountains. And literally, just the other side of those mountains, you've got the sea. Wow. Yes. You got a wow. Did we get a wow? Yes, we got a wow. <laughs> we got a wow. That's good. Sharon's got her hoped for wow, but she can't resist selling the dream a little harder. You can enjoy the the local farmer. You know, we obviously a bit up and down here. Enjoy the local farmer. <laughs> yeah, that didn't How sound ex right. Exactly. Do you want them to enjoy the local farmer? <laughs> it's quite interesting watching a local farmer. An eighty-year-old with his top off in the forty-degree heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in my world, the farmer is a forty-year-old. Gorgeous Long, Spaniard with a six hair, pack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. And I'm sure Jane uh, will agree with me. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed, Jane. <laughs> Having sold Jane and Ian on the villa, Sharon and Sean have their fingers and toes crossed that the kids will like the third bedroom, which has its own outside access. So, this is, of course, completely self independent. Yeah. It's got an ensuite shower. Yeah. And really, it would just be between the four of you to fight over who wants this room. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that's and it even comes with its own terrace. See, James, if you had that room, you'd have this as well, all to yourself. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Yeah? Yeah. What views? Yeah. It yeah. is special. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Krangs are hoping to make Spain their new home, as long as the whole family agree on how to spend their €140,000 budget. They saw a three-bedroom townhouse with a rooftop solarium priced at €119,950, a corner lot townhouse with plenty of outdoor terrace space on the market at €130,000, and just over that, at €135,000, they saw a private villa with its own pool, which got a wow from Ian. When you get a wow, that's a good sign. Yeah. And that's the first wow we've had. Yeah. So... I think... Is that a wave Oh, is it us? one of them ones? Yeah, it's got to yeah. be a ripple. What is that? What is it's that like ripple? A... What is it? I don't know. Oh. Just got to go with it. OK. But the celebration might be a little premature, as the family have gone back inside for a quick conflap. It's nice, but I still want to live in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like Katie still needs to be convinced before they make an offer. So, <laughs> honest opinions, go. Property 3 was as near to our dream as it's ever going to be, um, with its own pool, um, detached. You could see yourself living as a family yeah. in that house. Yeah, I mean, we still want to suss out the area and obviously, have a chat with the children to make sure they're all on board. Absolutely. Do anything hasty. Yeah. yeah. You need to know that you can make yeah. this move as a family and make it work. Yeah. Because if Sean and Emma hadn't have been a hundred percent sure when we came over, it wouldn't have happened. Thank you so much for helping us. No, you won't. And guiding us like you have been, because you've been amazing. Oh. This is where you get hugs off me. This is the exciting bit, OK? The Krangs might not be signing papers today. I'm the other one, Spanish business. Okay. But the Spanish dream is not over yet. We'll see you very soon. Yeah. So I think we've got James on board. We've just got to convince Katie. <laughs> We can see them living there, can't we? It's nice if you didn't bore them to death, Mother. You didn't stop That's speaking. my job. 
That's all my job. day. But that's my job. Oh my god. You see, you don't, when you have life experience, <laughs> you learn to bore people, and they just say, "For God's sake, I'll bite. Let me just get out of here." Right. And that's how it works. You see, okay. learn from the mother. Okay. <laughs> In sunny Alicante, Linda has already shown Damien two townhouses the same complex, but he had concerns about what is to become of that wasteland. The main point with this complex is the, the, there's wasteland at the back. No seal. But Linda thinks that she may have cracked it with the property that's only just come onto her books. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom. I've uh, got a community pool, and it's in walking distance to the beach and also to the shopping centre. Could this last-minute booking be the one for hard-to-please Damien? <sighs> Property 3 is a duplex-style home in Playa Flamenca. It's part of an established gated community with a large communal pool and well-kept gardens. It's just a short walk to the beach and shops. Recently put on the market, the property has a spacious lounge and diner with an open fireplace and fully fitted kitchen. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms, plus an enclosed balcony. Back on ground level, there's a conservatory and a garden. This home is listed for 124,000 euros, which fits Damien's budget, but will it tick his other boxes? Oh, I told you, didn't I? Save the best till the last. Oh, wow, eh? Yeah, that's nice. Linda can't resist getting fruity in the garden. You could have all your grapes over there, the shower on, and just yeah, eat the grapes yeah. as you get in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, Madeline. Big, isn't it? Big size room. Yeah, yeah it's nice and open. Nice and bright. Oh, nice size room, eh? That's nice, yeah, that's good, eh? Linda's soft cell approach seems to be going down well. Oh, wow, eh? This is nice and big, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's good. Oh, There's a lock on the door, too. That's so the kiddies can't yeah, go anywhere. This is where the magic happens. This is where the, yeah, magic. <laughs> Will the master bedroom's private glazed terrace seal the deal? Oh, that's what you didn't want to hear. Hey, oh, dear. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's lovely, that, isn't it? Nice breeze. Linda attempts to breeze over the road noise. So when you're lying there in your lovely bed, you'll have all this breeze keeping you nice and cool. But it seems Damien is still focusing on the traffic sounds. A big motorbike went down, so it was uh, a bad timing, that one. Oh, it's lovely. The surroundings are lovely. The trees all around the other houses are lovely, but I want peace and quiet away from roads. The noise from that road's pretty invasive. So I'm still holding off on that first one to, to find out what's happening with the land. Damien has seen over a hundred properties in Spain and is keen to finally settle down. It's been five weeks since Linda showed him three homes. Two of them were in the same community, one for 115,000 euros and the other for 129,000 euros. But a neighboring undeveloped wasteland raised some questions. And although property three had 124,000 euros seemed like a good candidate, the proximity to a busy road made Damien hit the brakes. Linda has been waiting on news about the wasteland and Damien's back in Spain for an update. Hello, Linda. Hello, Linda. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Doing well? You're looking well. Though. Good, yeah, doing well yourself. <laughs> Linda's heard back from the neighbors of property one we went to a residence meeting about the land. So they went to the meeting and there's still no outcome. Still unresolved. And a funny feeling it would be like that. Yeah. They could drag on that for another couple of years. I think, they'll, I think I get the impression that someone will build something there. Damien doesn't want to risk buying a property that may be surrounded by a new development in the future. But how does he feel about the other houses he saw? The houses that we saw, none of them were because of the food, but reasons. None yeah. of them really fit in the bill, so... I think we'll have to just carry on. We are getting new properties on the books even this week. I know that we've shown him a lot of properties and he's seen a lot of properties with other agents. But some people are different, some can take a couple of years, a couple of days. But I know that I will find him a property that he wants, because I know what he wants now. 
um, by all the information that he's given me. We'll I'm going to we'll find you something, yeah, I will, we'll yeah, yeah. All right, sweetheart. So Good night, God bless. We get on so well, he's such good fun, that I'm determined to find him what he wants and he'll say, well done, Linda. In Almeria, Sean's given his mum an unusual present. Give Fosha for Sharon Garner for a tattoo session. <laughs> and today, with inking imminent, she's feeling fearless. Listen, after you've had a baby, having a tattoo is nothing. But it would be nice if you came with me. I just like you being next to me. Oh, that's it. It's only because you can't stand to kiss me to say goodbye. <laughs> 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 I should come back and reveal all to you later, No, okay? just, just a tattoo, tattoo is enough. <laughs> Sean knows the tattooist, but Sharon is getting twitchy. He doesn't speak any English either, does he? Nope. Oh, great. I just think it's so uncouth that they can't speak English. <laughs> Do you need dragging in or are you confident? Yeah. I'll just sit here for a minute. Hola. Muy buenas. Estamos todos listos para. Sí, la boquera. Yeah, he's all ready for you. So if you. Hello, we are seeing you. Sharon's having the tattoo in honour of her grandson, Lucas. And she's already chosen a butterfly design. The tattooist's first step is to position it exactly where she wants. If he thinks that's going to work, that's fine. OK, <laughs> boy, bien. The rest of Sharon's family are already represented by tattoos. And all fired up, she decides one design needs amending. Matthew, my son-in-law, has a full stop. I'm now going to upgrade him to a star. Because he is a star, really, but don't tell him that, because he gets... Am I a rebellious mom or just stupid? I love you either way. I know. I know. <laughs> Do I look calm? Not one little bit. With the arty elements agreed, it's time to get to the point. Is it hurting? Some people will probably think, you know, what on earth is she doing building up like a memorial tattoo on the back and a a celebration of my family, but that's exactly what it is. It, it's a celebration of my family. Um, so, to me, it means everything. You know, all them overtime hours you've given me, yeah. this is payback. Yeah. You do realise I can't wear a bra now for the next two weeks? Oh, no. I see you walking and I just hide <laughs> under my desk. OK. OK. It's OK. <gasps> oh, wow. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Cling film should protect the skin while it heals. And back at the office, it's transparent enough for son-in-law Matt to see the new star in his honour. It's not for no. me, that. It's like I've had that especially for you, and that was the most painful bit <laughs> out of the whole thing. <laughs> Did it hurt just there? So thank, thank yes. you, Mark. Yeah, I told you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, are you back? She cried like a baby. Oh, did she? I did not. Wow. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Do you like it, seriously? Yeah, seriously, yeah. Seriously, yeah. yeah. Do you realise the pain I've gone through for that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. Right. So are you doing any work today? No. I can't work now. I'm injured for the next two weeks. Yeah, but it's self inflicted. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I need to have a fortnight off sick. <laughs> <laughs> when Sharon's ready to return to the working world, she checks in with the Krangs to see if Katie and the rest of her clan are ready to make an offer and make the move. So what what was your thoughts, guys, when you got back? Katie got a bit mixed up and she was uh, the, the, the old Spain situation. We're still opting for Spain. I think we just need the right property. I think once we get yeah. the right property, I think we'll be sold. That villa probably wasn't for us. OK. As lovely as it was. It was just a little bit too far out. Um, but we haven't given up on our dream of coming to Spain, so please keep looking, Sharon. I will do. I promise I will find you your dream home in Spain. I believe you. Yeah. Sorted. All right, guys, well, we'll keep in touch and I'll, I'll send you some properties over and we'll take it from there. Brilliant. All right. You're very welcome.
So Katie has a bit more time to think about it, while Sharon looks for more properties. Now the pressure's on, because for that budget, I've got to try and find them that property as close to the beach as I can. But at least they're still, they're still up for it, so I'm happy.